Oh, n no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, I is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't play dumb. We saw you trying to do something with the Keeper. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. A Spectre? Well, nobody would dare stop you. All right, then. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance! That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, 
but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Tally, why do you Quarians wear those suits all the time? Is it a cultural thing? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Oh, well, I'll uh, try not to sneeze. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. 
I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir.
Here it comes. Sense standing around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 